Yo, what's up? It's Aaron James Nahara with the Light Den Academy. Today, I want you to meet my new Polaroid Lab. Is this a printer or is it a camera? We're gonna talk about it right now. Meet the Polaroid Lab. This device turns your best digital shots into real life Polaroid photos. Look at that. Print your shots using 100% Polaroid chemistry and connect to the app to create split frame collages and even moving augmented reality photos. What we got in the box, we've got the Polaroid Lab, the lens cover, comes with a micro USB charging cable, user manual, and a quick start guide. The Polaroid Lab is powered by an 1100 milliamp hour battery that is rechargeable with the micro USB cable included in the box has a fixed focus three element optical grade acrylic lens with a focal length of 150 millimeters. The lab works in conjunction with the Polaroid app that you can download from your Android or Apple app store, which is pretty easy to use and navigate. I had no problems using it whatsoever and it doesn't force you to create an account. You can just click the app and go right into it and use it right away, which I appreciate. The Polaroid Lab works with either the color or black and white eye type film or the 600 film color or black and white. And last but not least, the Polaroid Lab weighs about a pound and a half. Traditionally, with printers, you would send a digital file to it and it would print out digitally in that quality and condition. What the Polaroid Lab does is it takes a picture of your phone screen. You can actually see the camera lens right here. It says Polaroid three element lens, 35 millimeters. So I guess what you're saying is I can take a picture of myself right now with this. Shall we try it? I've got one more print left. We might as well give it a go, see what it does. This is probably gonna turn out really bad, but you know, I'm just trying to prove a point. Here we go. <laughs> three, two, one. I fooled you guys. Guess what? It's not going to fire because you need to use your smartphone and you need to use the app. But still, what I mean is that you're not just sending the digital file to the app and then the app is sending it to the printer to print out. You're using the Polaroid app to line up the photo you want printed on top of the platform. And then the lab is going to take a picture of it, spitting out Polaroids that look as if you actually took this photo with a Polaroid camera. This is cool because you could essentially like grab graphics or like a cool design or artwork and load it into the app and print it out. Now, make sure it's your artwork, okay? You don't start stealing a bunch of other people's stuff and printing it out. But you can take even your professional images. Like for me as a professional wedding photographer, I can take my clients favorite images that they love from the sneak peeks that I sent them and I can print those out and mail it to them and bam there they have these beautiful cool Polaroid images of their favorite shots or you can just use the photos on your smartphone that are probably doing nothing but you're giving life to your photos and that's what really drew me to this but not only that too Every time I saw this on Amazon or, or advertised on Polaroid.com, I thought this device was a lot bigger. I thought it was going to be really tall, but it's actually pretty compact. It's really light. I love that it's rechargeable so you can take this thing and put it on, on the dining table and you, essentially you can kind of have like a photo printing party with your friends and relatives. I don't know, you could bring this to a family party and everyone can have their Polaroid apps and just slap them on and print photos out. You can do a lot with this and I love this design. I love how simple it is. I love how they incorporate the Polaroid logo with the rainbow LEDs. I love how you can keep track of each print here. Each one of these little circles will light up um, if you've got prints available. I love that they kept the red shutter button, very classic um, to the actual like Polaroid cameras. Very similar operation as well. You, this is where you load up all the film. Very, very similar to like the SX-70 or other Polaroid cameras. Pretty easy, simple design. Next up, let's talk about how it actually works. Polaroid does a really good job, including the user manual and a quick start guide that's super easy to follow but we're gonna go through it really quickly right now all right so number one charge the lab out of the box my lab came about 50 percent charged i plugged it in with the micro usb cable 
that I had plugged into my PC. And after I plugged it in, I started using it right away. I don't think you have to fully charge it, even though it's telling you in the instructions to charge it 100%. I didn't charge it to 100% and it still worked fine. So number two, make sure you download the Polaroid app to your smartphone. Step number three, you're going to turn on the lab. The power button is right here on the side. And when you turn it on, this little shaft is going to pop up, which essentially pushes the platform away from the camera to be able to be at the fixed focal length for the camera inside the lab. Number four, you're going to load the film. You're going to flip down the film door, insert the film pack as instructed on the film pack, and you're going to push it all the way in. Once you close the film door, the dark slide that's on the top will be ejected. You can go ahead and remove that and let the film shield slide back in. Next to the red button, you should see eight little circles lit up, letting you know that you've got eight shots available in the lab. Number five, we need to choose your photo. So go ahead and open up that Polaroid app. You're going to click Polaroid lab. After that, you click the choose photo and then go through your camera library and choose any photo that you would like. Once you have your photo selected, you need to go into your settings and make sure you turn off true tone and night shift. Now, when I did this, I turned my display brightness all the way up because I felt like it would help with the exposure of the image. There isn't any specific instructions in the manual about whether you need to have it turned all the way up or just like at 70%, but I just turned it all the way up and the prints came out fine. So I guess you can do that too if you like. All right, number six, you're gonna place your phone on the platform. So once you get through all the instructions after you selected the photo in the app, it's gonna instruct you on how to place your smartphone on the platform. You need to make sure that your phone is out of the case because if it's not out of the case, it's not going to work. I tried printing a photo and I forgot that my 13 Pro Max had the case on it. It wasn't working properly. And I was like, what the heck? Is this thing broken already? But it turns out my wife was like, oh, the case is on your phone. It's like, oh yeah, duh. And as soon as I took my phone case off the phone, it worked perfectly. Now it does instruct you to also remove your screen protector. I have this business phone right here that has a tempered glass screen protector. I used it on a couple images and it came out fine. I didn't see any difference between having the screen protector and not having the screen protector. Um, so I think you should be fine as long as there's no big cracks or dust or anything like that. You should be good to go. If your screen protector does have a bunch of cracks or dust, I. I would highly suggest that you go and get your screen protector replaced or just take it off, wipe down your phone, make sure it's nice and clean and you should be good to go. All right, number seven, let's print the photo. Polaroid Lab will detect the alignment of your phone and when it's ready to go, this little rainbow LED on the front will stop blinking and it will stay solid. Once the rainbow LED is solid, then go ahead and press that big, beautiful red button and listen to that machine whir as it spits out your photo. As it spits out the photo, you're gonna notice that the film shield will be over the photo. It protects it from any exposure to light. Wait five seconds and then remove the photo and either put it in your pocket or place it face down on the table or anywhere away from light. And the last step, number eight, processing the film. Like I said, after the five seconds, remove the photo and place it somewhere dark in your pocket or on the table. Black film takes about five to 10 minutes to fully develop and color film will take about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I've got two SX-70s. One of them I won from a giveaway, my good friend Alex Hatch photo on Twitch, huge shout out to that guy. He sent it to me, it was all scratched up and dinged up. It was working a little bit, but um, it wasn't solid. So I got it restored with Brooklyn film camera. And as you can see, it just looks perfectly immaculate. An amazing little camera. Now my mom, literally within the next couple of weeks, my mom, was just like, hey, I'm at an antique store and I found this camera, do you want it? And it was actually an SX-70, it was for $5. Obviously the camera didn't work, but I was like, heck yeah, mom sent it my way. So I also sent this to Brooklyn Film Camera, which they were able to restore it. And they actually modded this to work with 600 films. So I chose the black leather so that I can tell them apart. This one's for 600 film, this one's for SX-70 film. I also have a Polaroid Super Color 635CL. This one probably is my favorite to use out of the SX-70 in this one. The reason why I love this is because it's got the flip up flash. It also has the little um, focusing feature right here. So if you want to, if you're taking a photo of something that's four feet to infinity away, then you put it there. If you're taking a photo that's closer two feet to four feet, 
and you just slide that over it's also got exposure compensation right there as well and it's got this cool little strap that it's easy to carry but i have these three polaroid cameras and i've used them at weddings and the reason why i use them at weddings is because i love to be able to give something tangible to my clients at the end of the wedding day it's a cool little gesture and something that they aren't aware of usually and by the time they get it during the reception and i'm taking off they're like blown away that oh my god i love these and they just have something to hold the thing about doing that is i find myself wasting a couple films because either they didn't expose right they were underexposed overexposed um, maybe i didn't nail the focus sometimes with these film packs they just don't work like they're just defective or just one one film in the pack just is defunct and so um i feel bad about that the cool thing about the polaroid lab is that it's going to be able to print out images pretty much always in focus every single image that i printed out is in focus now they do print out a little darker but that's okay because it's giving you that vintage Polaroid look you might be like oh I don't like that still yada yada you have to remember right if you're sending a digital file to that digital printer then it will print it out in all its digital goodness but if you want something that actually has that Polaroid vintage look then something like the Polaroid lab will definitely be up your alley and I think for Polaroid enthusiasts this is something that isn't a replacement for the camera like I, I love my sx70 i get a lot of compliments at weddings people love how it looks i love the way it looks i love the way you can like carry it and how compact it is a printer like this definitely doesn't take away the experience i would highly suggest you get your hands on a polaroid camera it's really fun to shoot with but for enthusiasts and people who love this type of stuff to be able to get something like this and to be able to print out your favorite moments bringing those photos from your phone to life in printed form is something special another thing that i love about this is that again i get to choose digital photos that i've had for a long time i get to choose photos from my clients weddings and, and and send them like the best eight images that i loved and they can use them for their desk they can use them for whatever um, i love to use them as gifts and send them in cards and things like that but yeah i think i think the polaroid lab is like the ultimate complementary device those who are Polaroid enthusiasts, and I would highly suggest you check them out. The Polaroid Lab goes for $130 on the Polaroid website. You can also go for the bundle that goes for about $177.99. I bought mine on Amazon. The printer alone just costed hundred bucks. I bought the bundle that came with the lab and a color and black and white eye type film. So I bought that for about $130 on Amazon. I'm not sure when you're going to watch this video, so I would just check it out on Amazon, see if it's on sale, or maybe just wait for the holidays when things go on sale and you can get the lab at a discounted price. But either way, I think it's totally worth it. And I'm really looking forward to making a lot of my memories come to life. Real quick before I go, I've got a couple tips for you if this is the first time you're entering into the Polaroid realm or using a Polaroid camera, using the Polaroid lab. First off, the price of Polaroid film can be expensive. What I mean is that one of these packs with eight films in here costs $20. Sometimes you can get them on sale, but you're looking at $20. So that's about $2.50 for each photo, all right? So definitely don't just throw them to the wind, all right? Make sure that when you take the photo, you really want that shot, okay? You really want that printed out on film. If you're planning to print a lot of photos, then I highly suggest going for the five pack. You can get them online at Polaroid.com. And when you buy the packs, you also get rewards points back. And those will turn into like $10, $20 off coupons. I've used those quite a bit. You can go on Amazon right now. The, the five pack on Amazon is about like $74, which is a bit cheaper than what's online on Polaroid.com. So I highly suggest going for those bundles. And that makes each film about $1.90. And if you add it up, basically the five pack is going to save you about $24 definitely the better deal another thing to understand is that your photos are going to be coming out square cropped all right so when you're choosing the photo in your phone I like to choose the photos that are more portrait oriented because I don't have to really move from side to side and usually you've got all your subject framed within that length all right so I like to use portrait orientation more versus um, landscape orientation for your Polaroid photos. 
another thing I did mention earlier is that these photos tend to print out a little bit darker, all right? And I did a little experiment. So I, I printed out the photo as it looks on my phone. I think it looks really good, properly exposed, but when it's printed out, it definitely gets a bit darker. So what I did is in my iPhone's camera roll app, I upped the brightness by about 50 and it came out much brighter but you have to watch out with your whites because it might get overblown. And I can kind of see on the face of my niece that it's getting to that point and even on her pants is getting a little bit overblown. You're getting, you're losing the pink color, but like on my daughter's face, you can see the detail in her eye and her pupil versus the darker one where it's just like a, a, a darker eye. It's much more shadowed. So um, play around with that and definitely experiment with just raising up the brightness a little bit more than you think because then it will print out looking much better and then you won't be regretting your purchase, all right? Or feel like you're wasting film. And the last little tip I have for you is to embrace your mistakes and the things that might happen while you're using the, the lab or a Polaroid camera. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to shoot with my SX-70 and the film came out completely blank and it just didn't go for some reason, or I shot it and the shutter got stuck and all of a sudden now it's like halfway fully exposed, uh, fully exposed and halfway dark. And I end up taking those mistakes and I just use them as like greeting cards. Um, I, I do a live stream on twitch.tv slash TLD Academy and I'll just use those mistake films and I just use them as a little greeting card and I write them. And I think they're kind of cool because they're still like a physical tangible photo, but it's like a mistake with that kind of looks unique and whatnot. So just embrace your mistakes, all right? And just be patient with it, all right? It's gonna take a little bit of skill to work with this, I'm gonna say this for the third time, it's not just a digital printer, it's got this camera element to it, which is what I really love about the Polaroid Lab. Well, that's it for me today. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you have a Polaroid Lab? Are you planning to buy one? Are you a Polaroid enthusiast? What do you think about this awesome little camera printer? I think it is awesome and I cannot wait to take more photos. I'll definitely be posting more about it in our Discord in which you guys are more than welcome to join our Discord with a fun little uh, photography community. We're mainly on twitch.tv slash TLD Academy. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays and we talk all things photography. We run a little weekly photo editing contest which anyone is more than welcome to join. We do um, every Wednesday photo critiques and reviews which of course you are also more than welcome to come and share your photos with us but I will love to hear what you think please like this video if this is the type of content you like to watch on youtube so that it shows up more on your feeds and make sure you subscribe to this channel i would greatly appreciate your support but i will see you guys on the next one have a good one good morning everyone it's saturday morning for me here in hawaii i've got a wedding to shoot later on today so i'm in my casual clothing today but i did want to record this little video before i send out two cameras that need repair and it is the polaroid sx70